Well, what happened at the, at the Superior at the game? Okay, so around uh, quarter to two, one forty-five this afternoon, a call came in for a structure fire at uh, that address in Superior Propane. Um, the same report also uh, brought in that uh, cylinders had exploded, propane cylinders. So the call was upgraded by the on-duty platoon chief. So we had uh, five response vehicles and some support vehicles, a hazmat vehicle, and two chief officers. Uh, upon arrivals, the crew found uh, heavy smoke and flame from the backside of uh, the address of Superior Propane. So the main concern at the time was the, the report of two large 30,000 gallon uh, propane tanks with flame impingement. So we had a couple of uh, issues at task there were to cool those tanks for fear of explosion and to evacuate the areas just in case things move. So concurrently, between Barry Fire, Barry Police, we evacuated all the buildings within about a one kilometer radius and focused our efforts on cooling the tanks and superior propane large tanks. Uh, there's still fire in the back of uh, the loading dock at uh, superior propane uh, because some smaller tanks, possibly barbecue tanks, have exploded during the filling process. Uh, so there was still, still some fire at the, uh, the, the, uh, the loading dock which we had to look after as well. So, you know, two operations there, getting rid of the fire, get, you know, knocking down the fire at the, uh, the uh, back loading dock, and also filling the large tanks. Uh, remaining on scene right now, because you know, efforts really uh, concentrated on keeping those tanks cool before we move forward to, to determine if it's under control. flame impingement so there is some discoloration on the tanks some paint flaking but there wasn't enough heat to generate an explosion in those tanks at that time that's why it was important that we put a large volume of water on those tanks as soon as we got here and we continue to do so How's the weather dealing with plowing fire? Good question. Um, so with the, the heavy wind, two things. The heavy wind there did move some smoke and flames to, to the south. And the other part of that is we uh, we had a drone. We had a drone up. We thought the, uh, the, uh, the wind would be too, too wind driven to, to fly the drone, but we managed, managed to get some great pictures. So it did help us. There. So, you know, we're fighting uh, fires such as that. If it involves the cylinder, we, we really don't want to put the fire out because it's burning itself off. We want to contain that. So, we actually just cool the tanks to limit that. But to, to, to put the fire out, you still have that leak. So, we manage to contain as best we can. Do you have any sense of the fire on the loading dock? Do you know how that started? No, that's under investigation right now. Whether it was uh, explosion, then fire, or fire, then explosion. I don't think so. As I said, our uh, our uh, incident commander right now, they are focused with, with maintaining large streams of water on those tanks. They're going to keep those on for a while. We're going to be comfortable that the tanks are cool enough that we can you know, safely turn it over to some of propane. But we're, we're actually gauging the temperature of the tanks to make sure they're in a proper, uh, uh, safe environment. So we'll keep the water apply application to those tanks for now. satisfied that they know where they're incident they I'm just, I'm intrigued and I don't want to pull Carrie into this, but I mean, Carrie said this thing that was, you know, what, what's the, you know, she talked about the fear being that these things go off like this, you know, if, if the tanks would again heat it. Can you speak to, you know, the why, I guess, you evacuated as big an area as you did? Well, I'm sure it's a deputy 
said, you know, those tanks, those, that propane inside that tank is heated enough. It's what's called a blevy. So boiling liquid expanded vapor explosion. And when they explode, they do go off like missiles. But that takes a great deal of heat. But luckily enough, we've got the water on the tanks quick enough for that. Um, the other part of that is the staff on site, when it did occur, they have almost like an emergency shutoff. So they hit that emergency shutoff, which, which feeds the tanks into the, the, the filling station inside. So they managed to hit that shutoff almost immediately, which prevented any further um, propane being entered into the building, the filling station. So that was a, a good part on their end. 